What is up guys, welcome to another video that Geeky Guy here. Today I'll be talking about selecting the right red card for your deck. Tip number one, take a look at the damage relative to the cost. So for the cost of two, most good red card has a damage of at least six. Of course, this is without talking about the heat effect. So we're going to go into the heat effect in a bit. Let's talk a bit about the damage. So for the cost of zero, a good attack action card should deal at least three to four damage. 3 requires 1 card from your opponent to block and 4 on the other hand requires a defense reaction, 1 card plus equipment. Another good number would be 5. 5 requires 1 defense reaction and additional 1 more damage in order to block the 5. 6 is another damage that is good because it requires 2 cards from your opponent's hand. 7 is another good damage as it requires 2 cards plus an equipment in order to fully block it or one card and a defense reaction. So it's important to see at these key numbers in order to choose the right red card for your deck. Besides the damage number, it is important to also look at the heat effect and also additional passive abilities a card provides. For example, Command & Conquer, one of the most infamous card that is available from Arcane Rising, destroys the arsenal of your opponent and also it prevents your opponent from defending it using a defense reaction. So which means it forces your opponent to throw two card hand in order to defend it. Of course, this excludes the equipment using in defending it. Tip number three, look at the defense value. Now, usually you won't use red card in order to defend because you would like to use it in order to apply pressure for your opponent. So a good red attack action card should have a defense value of three. Although in some cases, two is acceptable. Some of acceptable cases are cards such as Scar for a Scar because of the natural go again given when you have your lower life than your opponent. In summary, in order to choose a good red attack action card, look at the damage relative to the cost. Remember the key numbers that I previously mentioned. Tip number two, look at the heat effect. Make sure it's good enough in order to force your opponent into a game state that is favorable to you. Tip number three, the defense value. 3 is a good defense value, however, in some cases, some generic attack action with the defense value of 2 could be useful for your deck. Now, to choose a good red non-attack action, you must look at the other available color for that particular card. So let's take for example, a card such as Plunder Run. So Plunder Run allows you to draw a card upon hit, but if you play it out of your arsenal, it allows you to add 3 more damage. Now this is a very good red card as it actually buffs your next attack action that hits. So this is a card that you should look out for. It not only gives one effect but it gives two effects. So it is important to look at the buffs that the non-attack action provides. Next you should look at the defense value. So a defense value, a good one should be around 3 but in some cases you would want a generic non-attack action with a value of 2. So Plunder Run is a good example. One advice that I could give is basically go into FABDB, select a hero and look at all the available non-attack action that it has. Always look for the class non-attack action before looking for the generic ones. So once you have compared all the cards, then you can decide which has the most advantage in your deck. Now finally, I'm going to touch a bit upon the defense reaction, attack reaction and instinct. Most attack reaction that we have now is the red one at least is good, such as Razor Reflex, Pummel, so these are some of the attack reaction that is available. Now if you took a, take a look at defense reaction, it really depends on your deck build whether you want to have some defense reaction good ones such as Sing Below. Next we have the cards such as the Fate for Scene, so these are some of the defense reaction you could include in your deck. It blocks for 4, most red defense reaction blocks for 4, for the cost of 0, so it's very very efficient. So if you bring up the value, then you have cards such as Soul, Shield and cards like that, but that requires uh, pitching more resources and it is a class card. If you need more uh, defense, you can always go for a red unmovable, but remember it does cost 3 to play. Finally, as for instance, a popular one would be Sigil, usually played in Blitz deck in order to gain more life, as Blitz does of course start with the life of 20. So thank you very much guys, I hope you guys learned something from my video of 
talking about red cards so this is a particular video that i made specifically for beginners since it can be confusing to start deck building with insufficient information out there although with the helpful community i suggest you guys to check out youtube videos go to the discord page of flesh and blood tcg community or i simply ask for the facebook page and anything else you can always comment down in the comments below i'll take a look at it this video was made uh, in response to a comment of one of my viewers so i would like to thank him for the video idea and thank you very much for watching guys do like and subscribe share the video if you think it's helpful and see you guys in the next one do support me on patreon and you can also follow me on twitter bye